Our senior capstone design project is the STEM Initiative Skybridge design proposal. This project will be presented to you by Christina Bednarik, Monica Dahlgren, Ailey Francis, Agim Kotai, and Francis Meisenbach. The project location is depicted by this star on the University of Vermont campus map. This video displays the overall STEM initiative construction project, which is budgeted at $100 million. This involves the destruction of Cook Physical Science Building, an Angel Lecture Center, and the construction of two new, much larger science buildings, and also an interior renovation of Bodie Hall. We are proposing the addition of a sky bridge to the project, as shown here. The bridge symbolizes the connection between the departments that are separated between the two building complexes. It also eases the transportation of students, faculty, and equipment, which will be shared between the buildings. In our design, our first option was to leave the buildings unconnected. The second option considered was a ground level walkway. These options were not favored by the College of Engineering and Mathematical Sciences faculty and students, as shown by this table. After talking with our community partner and amongst ourselves, we decided to design a sky bridge similar to the bridge built at Stafford and Given Hall. However, we also wanted our bridge to have social, economic, and environmental benefits for the University of Vermont. We started our design process with preliminary sketches that we came up with either by research, discussion with faculty, or our own imagination. We came up with several different concepts favoring notions that represented the school and the state. The design we decided to pursue was an arch spanning from the new STEM building to the support piers close to Vody Hall. This design was comparable to covered bridges seen throughout Vermont. To begin the determination of design loads and member sizes, Appropriate lengths and heights of the bridge needed to be determined. Site plans of the new and existing buildings were used to select the bridge span. The larger STEM project encompasses many of the various local, state, and construction permits that are required for the bridge, however many permits still needed to be obtained. Glass curtain walls were chosen for the walls of the bridge to allow for natural lighting. The roof will be sheet metal and consist of prefabricated roof trusses and prefabricated structural insulated panels. The floor will be a concrete slab that will lay on top of the I-beam supports and box girders. The roof trusses and arch will be left exposed, allowing students and faculty to visualize the structural components that support the bridge. Calculations were performed on all structural members of the bridge, like the slab here, in order to determine if they have acceptable strength. The foundation was first going to be designed with piles or micropiles, which are a type of deep foundation. This seemed reasonable at first because of the boring long data that showed a layer of refusal at about 10 to 15 feet. It was then determined that the equipment would be too expensive and therefore a shallow foundation was designed with two square spread footings, one for each column. The bridge is attached to the stem building using a bolted angle connection that resists moment and shear loads. There will also be expansion joints on each side of the bridge to allow for thermal expansion and contraction of the bridge. In the end, our costs were concluded to be as follows. This price is reasonable as the expected expenses were to be around $1 million. This bridge will be an attractive exhibition of UVM engineering and mathematical sciences for display.